also highlights potential effects on local plant and animal habitats and wildlife movement. And the impact statement notes the increased light could interfere with local astronomy research. This was Greg Ingrano has more now on why one group thinks that last issue should be a major concern for southern Arizona now. Greg? Well, Tom, the biggest attack against Rosemont Copper, for the most part, has been the air concern for the area water supply. But this new group of critics is concerned about the area sky, something they say is just as important. And when it comes to astronomers, they say having a mine in the area is almost a night and day difference. The International Dark Sky Association says Rosemont Copper claims to meet all the light requirements, but they disagree. The claim that they can do safe lighting for mining and meet the county lighting ordinance, they're just incompatible. They say if safety really is the top priority for Rosemont Copper, then more lights will have to be added to what Rosemont is planning for. The concern is lights and dust kicked up for mining will ruin the area's dark skies, not just for the casual stargazers, but for the professionals who work at Whipple Observatory not far from the proposed mine site. The sky will be significantly brighter and much more difficult for them to do their work, and in some cases, perhaps impossible for them to do their work. I think it's very clear that with the mine there, there are opportunities for uh, securing new monies, expanding the staff, expanding the very important worldwide recognized work there uh, will be diminished considerably. But Rosemont Copper says the claims just aren't true. In a statement released to News 4, Rosemont Copper says, it is disturbing that the International Dark Sky Association is making many false claims in its recent news release regarding a lighting study for the Rosemont Copper Project, which is legally exempt from the county's outdoor lighting code. It went on to say it's not only meeting the requirements, they're trying to exceed them. It says there are still significant reviews and additional conclusions that can be made based on updated lighting fixtures available for a final determination of what the impacts will be at Rosemont. So this claim of a light pollution violation is certainly not finalized. This becomes yet another issue that Rosemont Copper will have to fight in order to make this mine become a reality, something that it's proved time and time again that it is more than willing to do, that being the fighting. This time, it's just a lighting issue. Live in the newsroom, I'm Greg Dingrando, News 4 Tucson. Okay, Greg, thanks. Still a lot of issues to sift through on that. We have a lively debate happening.